Greetings, everybody. Turn your King James Bible to the book of Joel, chapter 2. This is uh, Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Let's skip from uh, Joel chapter 2. Let's skip to verse 23. Because I want to get this uh, series over with. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain, in the first month. Now, in previous Bible studies, I've done, I've, I've done Joel chapter 2. So, you can always go to my channel and type in Joel, Joel 2, and uh, it'll come up if you do a search. Maybe, but you got to do a channel search, my channel. Because I notice my, uh, on the general YouTube, you can't find my work, ha hardly at all. Verse 24, And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the ears that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. The locust, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm are God's great army. Verse 26. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Listen carefully. Here it is. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Now we're talking about God's people in the latter days here. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. You read those same things in the book of Revelation. blood, fire, pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Uh, you see, to the unbelievers, the goats, the day of the Lord is going to be a great and terrible day. Verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. All right, let's go to Acts chapter 2. Uh, this is a companion of Joel. Verse 14. Acts 2.14 But Peter, standing up with the eleven, now remember, this is when the Holy Spirit had appeared unto them the day of Pentecost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they're speaking in new languages. They're not speaking in tongues as like the some of these charismatic churches are, where they're slithering on the floor speaking gibberish. Uh, you know, I don't know what that stuff is. But they're speaking in languages that are actually preaching to the people in their own language. Unlearned fishermen that have never spoken these languages before are speaking, that's what they meant by speaking in tongues. But uh, if you listen to the Pentecostal church, it means to babble incomprehensible, incomprehensible 
gibberish for the most part. And I've gone to some Pentecostal churches, and some of them I kind of liked, except for their passing the collection plate around a dozen times. But what can I tell you? But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaids I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know, him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, have ye taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. For David speaketh concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. Did you know that the Old Testament saints went to hell? They did. They went to a compartment called Abraham's bosom. No flames there. There's two compartments in hell. The smoking section and the non-smoking section. Well, they were in the non-smoking section. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with my countenance. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us, unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. He, seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of God, exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he hath shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, until I make thy foes thy footstool. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. 
Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together, and had all things common. See, back in the old days, they had all things common. That was true communism, not communism by that Mordecai Levy, whatever his name was, Karl Marx, from a long, long line of Tal Talmudic rabbis, not Lenin, whose real name was Ulanov, not Trotsky, whose real name was Bronstein. No, not, not that communism. No, this was Christian communism. They had all things common and sold their possessions and good and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of God, I'm sorry, singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. And there you have it, people, the end of of the series I believe of dreams and visions all blessings praise glory and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son Jesus who is the Christ the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world all blessings praise glory and honor in Jesus name Amen <laughs>